Hello everyone and welcome to a somewhat festive room tour. Now if you remember back to Q&A episode 1, it was asked if I would do a setup review, which basically acted like a room tour. And now we're finally getting around to it because I now have access to my dad's camera that he got for Christmas. Because I previously was going to do it with this webcam here, but using it on a uh, USB extender to try and stretch it across the room. Just giving you a sort of a quick overview here, and then we'll go around the room in a bit more detail afterwards. So if we start over here in this corner, we have we'll start at the top actually. We have up here we have the uh, Sprinter Cell Blacklist Fifth Freedom Edition in my hand. Hello. Yeah, the Sprinter Cell Blacklist Fifth Freedom Edition on PlayStation 3 there. It's got a figure in a comic and a steelbook in it. Next to that we have the Assassin's Creed 3 Connor statue. These two are just in storage up here at the moment because I've got nowhere else to put them. Uh, and then here we have the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Limited Edition. They come with a uh, White Ride and Playout Sky figure. We'll get to that in a minute. Here we have the uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Premium Pack. And behind that, I don't know if you can see it, just tucked away there at the back is the Metal Gear Solid HD Collection Limited Edition. Here we also have uh, the Night Industries 2000. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. But the Night Industries 2000 from the TV show Night Rider in 118th scale. And now we come to my cabinet. Full of many figures. We'll start on the uh, top shelf. We have uh, Here we have Lightning from Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII. I won in the competition. Not the world's biggest uh, Final Fantasy fan. In fact, I've never really played any of the games, but I won that in a competition. And I quite like the design of it, so that's why that's in the cabinet. We've got uh, the Joker here from The Dark Knight. Harley Quinn from Batman Arkham City. And Batman from The Dark Knight Rises. And then here we have a complete set of the McFarlane figures from Metal Gear Solid 2. As you'll notice in this room tour, I'm a huge Metal Gear fan, as evidenced by the Metal Gear stuff up here. Uh, this cabinet is also full of Metal Gear stuff. If we come down here to the next shelf down, we have uh, a Ride and Playouts Kai from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. We have a Ride and Playouts Kai from Metal Gear Solid 2, and the white one that I mentioned earlier from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Limited Edition. And we have a whole set here of 20th anniversary Metal Gear figures. Raiden, Naked Snake, Old Snake, Old Snake, Old Snake, and Solid Snake. Raiden, Kubrick, Old Snake, Kubrick, Naked Snake, Kubrick, Solid Snake, Kubrick, and Cyborg Ninja Kubrick. Then they have the MGS1 shelf down here. We have some Solid Snake Playouts Guy, Meryl Playouts Guy, Cyborg Ninja, and Liquid Snake Playouts Guys with a complete set of the McFarlane Mega Solid 1 figures. And then down here on the bottom shelf, we have. Uh, Battlesuit Snake, Playouts Kai from Peace Walker. Jungle Fatigue Snake, Playouts Kai from Peace Walker. Kazuhiro Miller, Playouts Kai from Peace Walker. And Sneaking Suit Snake here at the back from Peace Walker, also Playouts Kai. And at the back here we have Ground Zero Snake, uh, Playouts Kai from Metal Ground Zero, obviously. We've also got uh, the second wave of the 20th anniversary Medicom figures. And this one down here is the Shaggar Hod from Metal Gear Solid 3, which came in the limited edition, which I showed you earlier on top of the cabinet. Uh, that's not all the players guys I've got. There's one missing, which I'll get to later. But then we come over here to my DVD tower featuring all my PlayStation games. I'm not going to go through all of them. i just do a slow band so you can see what's on the shelf. Quite a lot of games. Weirdly, nothing to play because I've already played through most of them, if not all of them. Currently playing through uh, Watch Dogs here, which I got for Christmas. And we've also got some PC games here, which I could do in a future series. We've already started Mass Effect, and that didn't go so well. But we've got Halo here, we've got Mass Effect 2, Sonic Adventure DX, Sonic Heroes. They're all these two are planned as part of Sonic Sunday. Whenever I get that going, and these are all on the table, apart from Mass Effect. Well, Mass Effect's still on the table, but yeah, enough of that. That's not what this video is about. Um, some DVDs, some Blu-rays, 
Heroes, Toy Story 3, The Amazing Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which I got for Christmas and haven't actually seen yet, so I'll be watching that soon, uh, Anchorman, and a bonus movie made from outtakes and stuff, and Anchorman 2, and then down here we've got some more DVDs, and for good measure, some GameCube games, and a few PS3, PS3, sorry, PS2 uh, offcuts. Now over here, as we've already seen, we have some Christmas lights up, because I'm recording this just after Christmas. Got some Christmas lights up, and we also have, if I step back a moment so we can get this all in shot, my Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes poster. It's quite massive, it's uh, 91 and a half by 65 centimeters or something. So it's quite large. And then here we have my bed, which I use for eating, sleeping, and maybe building a little fort. So that's where I do my sleeping and things. And then over here, we have a shelf. We have uh, one of my surround sound speakers, which should be up here in the corner, but isn't because uh, the wire needs extending. And the whole system is actually rather crudely set up at the moment, so I'm going to get around to uh, fixing that at some point. We have the Batmobile from the 1989 Batman movie. We have Fernando Alonso's championship winning Renault F1 car. And then we have, up here, we have the Last of Us American Dreams graphic novel, uh, the autobiography of Ron Burgundy, and the Tomb Raider novel The Ten Thousand Immortals, which I finished reading through recently, which is a very good read. And over here we have, we could do the stuff in front first, we have Altair from Assassin's Creed 1, two Ezio's from Assassin's Creed 2, uh, three Ezio's from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and then Ezio from Assassin's Creed Revelations, they're all made by NECA. And behind that, we have all of my Metal Gear games, going from the 20th anniversary collection here to a pre-release demo of MGS1 included here in ISS Pro 98. From MGS1 all the way through... I'll go to slow pan on that one. So there's MGS1 stuff, MGS2 stuff, MGS3, PSP games, up to the PS3 ones, MGS4, Metal Gear Rising, uh, the Legacy Collection, and in here we also have uh, Ground Zeroes as well. <coughs> Excuse me, the voice are going a bit weird there. But I think we'll manage. And we've got some DVDs here as well. Maybe sort of DVDs. Uh, Japanese digital graphic novels. Some soundtracks and all that good stuff. Uh, this copy here of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walk, I'm not going to take it out because every time I try it ruins my tinsel arrangement. But this copy here of Metal Gear Solid Peace Walk is actually signed by Hideo Kojima and Yoji Shinkawa, as is my MGS4 sleeve here, which is signed by Hideo Kojima there, Yoji Shinkawa there, and Yami Kikuchi there. We also have a Metal Gear Ray figure. And there's my tinsel arrangement, and underneath my shelf is my lamp. Good little lamp, nice little clock coaster for my drinks. And then there is my TV, guarding my TV. Here's little Wally. Little Wally. Oh, behind the TV as well, we have the Nintendo Wii next to this rather spiffing Christmas decoration. Being guarded by the new arrival this morning, in fact. Uh, the Metal Gear Solid 5, the Phantom Pain, Venom Snake Playout Sky. He's going to be out on my desk for a few days before he goes in the cabinet. And if we come back over this way, underneath the TV is the PlayStation 3. And then a second cubby hole where I keep all my controllers. So we've got a GameCube controller here. Uh, we've got two Wiimotes, two PS3 controllers, and just miscellaneous junk in there. I'm not focusing on that too much. That's my apple juice that I'm currently drinking. And my phone. A little cup to keep some things in. And then here we have um, from Little Big Planet. We've got Sackbot, Nathan Drake Sackboy, uh, a regular Sackboy. And then from Portal, we've got Portal Turret. And from Zone of the Enders, we have. A Rival Tech Jehoti. And then underneath there we've got some more uh, 97 McLaren F1 test cars. My backup 1TB hard drive. Some Playout Sky stand things. And all those. That's my old laptop that I used to make videos with. That's my keyboard. And my mouse. 
and then here is my PC arrangement. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. We've also got a Venom bust from the Spider-Man 3 movie, and a miniature baseball from Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Phillies, in fact. And now here we have my monitor, where you can see that I'm currently speaking and Audacity is recording it, because the microphone on this camera isn't really going to pick up the sound as good quality as I'd like, and we also have my PC specs here, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, underneath the desk here is my PC. There it is, it's currently 26 degrees inside. My Xbox controller on top, you can see it's got uh, blue LEDs in the fans and things. It's quite nice looking. But yeah, the PC specs is what people really want to see here. Uh, we have the operating system is Windows 7 Professional 64 bit, the CPU is an AMD Phenom 2 X4965, 8GB of dual channel DDR2. RAM. Uh, my motherboard is a Gigabyte uh, M720 US3. The graphics card is an NVIDIA GeForce GT 630 with 4 gig of video RAM. I've got a 1 terabyte hard drive, and that's, I think that's all that really matters there. So those are my PC specs. And yeah, there's my mouse, wireless mouse to go with my wireless keyboard. <laughs> so that just about concludes the room tour. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a like. You can also leave uh, your thoughts in the comments. If you're new to my channel and you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see some more stuff like this, you can also consider subscribing, because that helps me out a lot. Other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye. Oh, 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 oh,